What do you see as the priorities of Bernie Sanders? How will America's money be spent? Republicans are losing it over Bernie Sanders' new position, chair of the Senate Budget Committee. Now, in this position, Bernie has quite a bit of power. So before I get to any of the reactions from conservatives, including a hilarious video from Lindsey Graham, let me start here with this quote from Politico. They say here, under a narrow Democratic majority in the Senate, Bernie Sanders will oversee budget and spending work, including the procedural power of budget reconciliation the majority can use to evade the filibuster and pass massive bills without a single Republican vote. So using budget reconciliation, which Bernie Sanders has already said, and I'm going to show you that he's going to use, Democrats only need 51 votes to pass legislation. So the issue then, I mean, this is a whole other discussion, but the issue then becomes Joe Manchin. And will Joe Manchin, the ultra conservative Democrat from West Virginia, will he jump on board with, you know, a big spending uh, push for health care, for example? Unlikely. This is where someone like Chuck Schumer, if he were a strong leader, would come in and try to whip that vote. But that all remains to be seen. At the very least, it's good to know that Democrats only really need 51 votes to pass um, major pieces of, uh, of our past major bills. Now, let me get to first what Bernie is saying about how he will use this power before I get to some of the reactions from conservatives. So Bernie tweeting out here. When Republicans control the Senate, they use the reconciliation process to provide huge tax breaks for the rich and large corporations. We're going to use reconciliation to protect working families, the sick and the poor. And this from Warren Gunnels, Bernie's staff director, saying, yes, we can and we must use budget reconciliation to increase the minimum wage to at least $15 an hour with a simple majority vote in the Senate, just like Republicans did to pass massive tax breaks of the 1%, signed by incoming majority staff director, Senate Budget Committee. So you already see here very specific ideas in how to use budget reconciliation to get help to people, starting with 15 bucks an hour. And as I'm going to get to from a Politico here, Bernie's also discussed how he, you know, won't, won't only use this to help during the pandemic, but also he's looking to the future in terms of real systemic change in helping people. So as uh, Bernie says here to Politico, I'm going to use reconciliation in as aggressive a way as I possibly can to address the terrible health and economic crises facing working people today. As we speak, my staff and I are working. We're working with Biden's people. We're working with Democratic leadership. We'll be working with my colleagues in the House to figure out how we can come up with the most aggressive reconciliation bill to address the suffering of the American working families today. So you can go to this link, by the way. I'll link to this below the video. Read the whole interview. Bernie discusses a lot more of how he may use this power uh, towards trying to help people. And again, has brought up how the GOP have used it to pass massive tax cuts for, for the wealthy and, you know, help large corporations. Here, Bernie, in this position, using it to actually help people. Now, let me get to some of the um, uh, people that are scared, <laughs> scared about Bernie's new role. So this actually goes back to 2016. So this is a Vox article from 2016. Speaking at an event with college Republicans in Wisconsin earlier this week, Ryan warned that letting the Senate slip back into Democratic hands might give Vermont's Democratic Socialist one of the most powerful positions for shaping the federal budget. Quote, if we lose the Senate, do you know who becomes chairman of the Senate Budget Committee? Ryan said, according to the nation, a guy named Bernie Sanders. Ever heard of him? That, that's what we're dealing with here if we lose control of the Senate. Ryan's hit on Sanders backfired badly. Citing Ryan's comments in a fundraising blast, Sanders was able to raise just under $2 million in two days for about a dozen Democratic Senate and House candidates, furthering his chances of actually becoming budget committee chair. Now, unfortunately, we all know how 2016 turned out, so that didn't happen. But four years later, Bernie now has this position. So uh, that was Paul Ryan's reaction back then. Now... We got Nikki Haley tweeting this out on the on the uh, 16th, saying time to face the harsh reality. Socialist Bernie Sanders will become the chairman of the Senate Budget Committee. He has vowed to use his position to enact his progressive agenda on health care, climate, infrastructure spending and cutting defense spending. Oh, dear. Horrible. <laughs> How, can you imagine a politician using his power to help people get health care? address the climate crisis, P 
put money into the infrastructure or cut defense spending. Oh, <laughs> what world are we in? It's amazing. Like people like this, like Nikki Haley, their whole purpose is to obstruct any potential progress. Meanwhile, uh, are, are all the while complaining about people that actually work to help people using their position in power to actually deliver help to people in need. Who knew? It's amazing how uh, people's priorities are all twisted up and they think they're on the right side of history. Now, one more reaction here. Lindsey Graham on Fox News with uh, Maria Bartiromo. Let me uh, play this. Now Bernie Sanders is in your shoes. He's going to be in your shoes as the chairman of the budget committee. What do you see as the priorities of Bernie Sanders? How will America's money be spent? Well, the first thing they're going to do is use reconciliation where you just need 50 votes to increase your taxes. So what are their priorities? They're going to roll back border security at the border. And you see the caravans beginning to form now. They're going to raise your taxes. They're going to impose regulations on the economy. They're going to try to make D.C. a state. They're going to try to implement parts of the Green New Deal and Medicare for all through budget reconciliation. I've got a fight on my hands. Beautiful. (laughs) I mean, uh, much like Nikki Haley, he's freaking out about things that actually make total sense. But uh, whatever. I'm enjoying all of this. Obviously, the the best part of this whole story is that Bernie has his position. But the cherry on top is that you have conservatives freaking out that Bernie Sanders is actually in a position to help people. 